Isabel has dialed in. Hi, Isabel. Hi. You're going to tell us breaking news. What has it been like trying to get back to the UK tonight? Have you made it or are you Skyping us from a hotel room somewhere in France? No, that's it. I'm home. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> well done. That's amazing. Uh, great, great to see you there. And you've literally just st stepped off the Eurostar. Is that right? Uh, yeah, a few hours. Well, a few hours ago, yeah. Why have you just come off the Eurostar? Did you have to frantically get a booking to try and get back before the 4am? No, actually, it was quite. I was quite lucky. I I just got on the train that I'd booked, originally booked, but there were quite a lot of people there trying to get back to the UK, trying to change their their tickets, and they, they couldn't. So so I was I was really lucky. Did anyone try and bribe you to try and get your ticket, try and take your place, try and try and purchase your passport? No. <laughs> they would have had to pay uh, quite a lot of money, I think, for that. <laughs> and tell me, what was it like on board the train? Like what were people talking about? Like what was the vibe like? Well, um there was it was quite interesting, actually, because there was a, an elderly couple just in, in front of me, a French couple, uh, who, who seemed to think that it was all absolutely ridiculous, really, to change the, uh, you know, the, the, the rules at such a, a short notice. Um, couldn't really see the point. Um, and, and then there was a, a family, an English family coming back from their holidays who had had to, to change um, their plans, really. And they, they were really not happy about it. They they were going to fly home, um, try to change their flight home and just couldn't do it. So they decided to try their luck on the Eurostar and, and found found some uh, tickets last night, they were saying. So, yeah, I was told on Twitter that really I should be, uh, I, I shouldn't complain about the whole, the whole thing because really, if you lived in England, then you should have stayed in England. Um, but I went back to France, for instance, because my mum had a stroke and I couldn't see her and she was in ICU. So, you know, everyone's got their own their own sort of commitments or their own reasons. So. So, yeah, I just I just think in the, the government really, really needs to have they need to have a, a better strategy when they come to communicate their plans, if they have plans.